Chinese bodybuilding. Powerful bodies shaped to perfection. An elite field of international competitors posing and flexing their way to a $100,000 first place prize. There's no other event like it in the world. Hello everyone, I'm Greg Lewis, along with the most famous bodybuilder of them all, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Your event, you've got to love this one coming up. I love it. Greg, as you said, there's no event like it. The Arnold's Classic Bodybuilding Competition has the most muscular man from all over the world coming in here, competing for this $100,000 cash prize. There are four former champions here today battling it out. They're the most muscular, the most defined. They know how to pose, so we will see what will happen. It will be a very close competition. I can't wait. Stay with us. Are you ready? I'm ready. We'll pump you up. <laughs> Today's competition features the rectangle Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. The world's most impressive lineup of bodybuilders are here to match muscle for muscle. In this, the most prestigious event in men's bodybuilding. One of these powerful men will become the 1997 Arnold Classic Champion. And now let's meet these awesome men of steel. From Australia, now residing in Venice, California, Lee Beast. Lee is a three-time Mr. Australia and recently placed second in the Iron Man Pro Invitational. From Laguna Niguel, California, Ian Harrison. 28-year-old Ian is an established world-class competitor, having won both Mr. Europe and Mr. Britain. From Marina Del Rey, California, Paul Gillette. Paul is 31 years old. Originally from Canada, this experienced bodybuilder has won the North American Championships and European Grand Prix. From Arlington, Texas, Ronnie Coleman. Professional bodybuilder for seven years now, 32-year-old Ronnie Coleman is Canada's 1995 and 96 Pro Cup winner. From Venice, California, Aaron Baker. 36-year-old Aaron Baker's list of bodybuilding titles include Mr. USA, Mr. California, and Iron Man runner-up. From Safety Harbor, Florida, Eddie Robinson. Eddie Robinson has been competing internationally for nine years. His bodybuilding resume includes wins as both Mr. USA and Niagara Falls Pro Invitational Champion. From Yugoslavia, Nasser Al-Sandari. 31-year-old Nasser is an international bodybuilder who's been competing for eight years. Nasser's won championships in Russia, Switzerland, and the Czech Republic. From Pembroke Pines, Florida, Vince Taylor. 40-year-old Vince is the 1992 Arnold Classic Champion, the 1996 Mr. Olympia Masters Champion, and former Ironman Grand Prix Tour winner. From Columbus, Ohio, Michael Francois. 31-year-old Michael is the 1995 Arnold Classic Champion. Competing professionally for four years, Michael's other wins include the Nationals and Night of Champions competitions. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Al Q. Gurley. Al Q. is an international competitor with the awards to prove it. He's won the National and Mr. Universe Heavyweight Championships. From Alexandria, Virginia, Don Long. 30-year-old Don Long is an up-and-coming world-class bodybuilder who's been competing professionally for two years. He's also the 1995 overall Nationals bodybuilding winner. From Roland Heights, California, Ken Flex Wheeler. Flex is 31 years old and 1993's Arnold Classic champion. He's also a four-time Ironman Pro Invitational champion and two-time European winner. Flex has been competing internationally for five years. From Limassol, Cyprus, Agathocles Agathocles. 28-year-old Agathocles is a former Mr. Universe and Mr. Cyprus and has been trading for 10 years. From Glen Burnie, Maryland, Kevin LeBron. Kevin LeBron is 31 years old. This world-class bodybuilder is the 1994 and 1996 Arnold Classic Champion.
He'd like to see his name on that trophy again tonight. One of these men will be the 1997 champion of the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. Hello everyone, I'm Greg Lewis along with the man himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is a magical environment tonight and a magical place here. This is really the, I would call it the uh, kingdom of bodybuilding here in Columbus, Ohio. You're absolutely right. I think that the spectators uh, show this is tremendous enthusiasm because they know they're seeing here the best bodybuilders in the world. They all came in in great shape. You know, we have 14 of the top guys here. It's just really wonderful to see that. And that's why you see this energy because it's the top competition in the world. Four returning champions, a $100,000 first place prize. This has to be as much pressure as any competition any of them could ever be in. Oh, absolutely. I think that the, the guys are under tremendous uh, pressure. You know, they want to win the, the, the money, but also it's the prestige. You know, to win this competition. When you win the Arnold's Classic or you win the Mr. Olympia, these are the two top competitions in the world. And, you know, everyone uh, knows that. So there's tremendous pressure and fierce competition. It's going to be a spectacular event. The competition about to begin from Columbus, Ohio. The 1997 Arnold Classic is made possible by Metrix Engineered Nutrition. Sponsored by Hummer. The first of ten competitors now moving on to the stage. This will be Lee Priest who will make his entrance. And originally from Australia, now living in Venice, California. Of course, one of the centers of bodybuilding in America. And Lee Priest letting the suspense build here. Virtually invulnerable. The danger, of course, of walking in so slowly and so dramatically is that if you can't follow it up, you know, it will cost you a lot of points. Oh my. Because the judges then will be kind of upset with all this drama. And he cannot, uh, you know, follow up with it. So he is under a lot of pressure right now. Even though you've been raised, and an unusual choice of a, a musical background. You and have I great say, powers. Only some of which you have as yet discovered. See that breathing of the stomach that you see now? The stomach moving in and out? That can cost you points. It's an absolute no-no, because you've got to show to the judges that you're in shape enough. He has not spent too much energy on pumping up before he goes out there, and now he doesn't have the energy to pull it off. Lee Priest, 217 pounds, stacked on a 5-foot, 4-inch frame. Lee Priest is extraordinary, and he's known in the bodybuilding world uh, that he's one of those guys that has managed to be uh, a, one of the shorter bodybuilders, but still keep a tremendous symmetry and proportion, which is very hard to do. Is there a prejudice among the judges uh, against the shorter competitor with better off your genetics, have you six feet, six one to start with? Well, I think it is better, but that does not mean that the shorter guy cannot win, because we've seen Franco Colombo, my friend, who has won Mr. Olympia twice, and has won Mr. Universe three times, uh, and he was only 5'5". Five five. So I think that if you have the muscles to show in the definition, you can pull it off. And uh, he, of course, Lee Priest can show here that he has a tremendous amount of musculature. And so hopefully with the posing, you can pull it off. Lee Priest. Our next competitor. So now Arnold will jump up on the scale to six foot one inch, 275 pounds. Paul is a rat. Yeah, Paul is a great athlete and um, all-around athlete and he's very strong, he trains with tremendously heavy weights and uh, you know he's a machine and he's a huge guy I and mean, when you stand next to him look at the width of his shoulders and this like this in this development I always just call him instead of calling him Paul I just call him hey monster because he's just <laughs> he's just so huge you know his arms and everything look at him well if Arnold Schwarzenegger is calling him monster I don't know what I could call him <laughs> look at his arms Really has a very small waist and huge in the upper body, but he does have uh, problems that certain times he forgets to flex the total body, and then certain body parts then appear smooth, although they're not. See right now here, he forgets to flex the pectoral muscles. 
It keeps him most of the time relaxed, and that again will cost him points. Terrific lap spread. He forgot his double bicep pose. And the shaking of the hand costs him points right there. It's an absolute no-no. If you shake with your hand, and the muscles are shaking, or the body is shaking, it shows that you're not in shape for this pose off and for this kind of a competition, and the judges see that. But the fact is, is to sustain this kind of a punishment, you have to go through the pre-judging for four hours, uh, and then the pose at night, you know, you have to have great, great energy. Here, Paul Dillette is displaying a tremendous arm development, huge triceps, huge biceps. And he usually follows it up with a side chest pose. Here it is, here's the side chest pose. He pulls in his stomach. He doesn't pull it off from the back. Now from Ronnie Texas, Coleman Texas. from Arlington, Texas <laughs> makes his way to the stage. Five foot 11, 250 pounds, a 58 inch chest. If you have the definition right along with it, then it's very, very good. If you don't, then, uh, you know, it means nothing. He uh, is very good because he does, uh, Ronnie has not only a great and huge uh, wide shoulders and a great chest, but he also has a very small waist. $200,000 in prize money at stake in this competition, $100,000 for first, as big a purse as has ever been awarded to a bodybuilding winner. See, Ronnie Coleman uh, uh, makes some, look, he relaxes the pectoral muscle right now and does not flex it enough, you see? So that, uh, those are mistakes because he has an enormous chest development, but he does not show it to the judges what he has. He relaxes it, so maybe he's out of steam now. Maybe he's pumped up too much. Maybe he is worn down from the pre-charging. Here, this is a great back pose. He has the most spectacular back there is of, of any of the competitors, I think. Look at how low the latissimus goes down, how defined the lower back is. He only flexes, for instance, every single muscle. That is fantastic, this back pose. Really tiny waist, which you can see right now in this pose coming up, which is called the lat spread. Here comes the tricep pose. Beautiful tricep development. An honor graduate from Grambling State University with a degree in accounting, Ronnie Coleman has got the judges working on their balance sheet now. See, he didn't even hold the pose no more. You see, he has the striations and the peg pose, but he doesn't show it enough. Ronnie Coleman from the Lone Star State of Texas. Will he be the Lone Star when the competition is over? And now for a classic flashback of champions as tonight's competition is only just beginning here at the 1997 Arnold Classic. Back in great form are the powerful physiques of four previous Arnold Classic champions, including 1992's winner, Vince Taylor. Also looking for another win is 1993's champion, Flex Wheeler. But you can't rule out this two-time Arnold Classic champion, Kevin Maroney, winning here in 94 and again in 96. Also back is 1995 champion, Michael Francois. This is an incredible field of champions. Their routines when we come back. The second oldest competitor in the field at age 36, Aaron Baker out of Venice, California. He's a long time veteran. Yeah, Aaron has been around for a while. And he's always a great addition to the competition because he poses well, the people like him a lot. Here he shows his back development with a double bicep in the back. He's known for his back development. better in holding the pack. Yeah, he holds it longer. He has trained, obviously, more the posing than uh, some of the other competitors have. 
Is that particularly difficult to hold the pendulum? Yes, it is. It's, it's, but it's like in anything else. You've got to just practice it. If you only train with the weights in the machines, but don't practice the posing enough and the holding of the poses, you will not be able to do it on the day of the competition. The same is with the vacuum. To pour in your stomach takes a tremendous amount of energy. You see, he lets the stomach hang out most of the time. This will cost him points. He flexes his abs now, and then as soon as he's finished, he lets the stomach go right now. Stomach is hanging out, as you can see. Now he's pulling it in again. The judges see all that. You cannot give them one single chance to see a negative point on you, otherwise you lose the competition. I think there's a lot of men in the uh, viewing audience who like to have their stomach hang out just like that. Oh, I'm not. Look, we all are. Yeah, believe me. But look, here is a good example. The stomach all the way coming up here. Even now, he does not pull in the stomach. The stomach is ahead of the chest, and it should be the chest ahead of the stomach. Now, as good as Aaron is, but this is here, he costs him points. He's letting the stomach out here. Look at this. The whole time, he doesn't even pull it in all the way. So I think this will cost him points, and I think it will take away his chance from winning this competition. Our next competitor is from Yugoslavia, now residing in San Diego, California. Nasser 285-pound Nasser Elson Bagni. I mean, Nasser is, 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 is fantastic. You see how he keeps the waist small. Tremendous arm development. Fantastic serratus. Look at the latissimus in the pectoral muscles. And the thighs. Look at the thigh development now. You can see that how well proportioned he is. Tremendous definition. He's known for his thighs. There's a lot of heavy, heavy squats always. And appears to be holding the stomach. Yeah. The back is not as defined as it could be, I have to say. But again, this is just talking about, you know, does he have a chance to win? I think his back maybe will uh, cost him a few points, especially the lower back you can see right now. It's not as defined as the upper back is. So that could cost him some points. What was the most difficult area for you to develop? I think that it was thighs and calves, you know, it was very difficult. Everyone has a specific body part that is difficult for them to develop because of your heredity. You know, hereditary, you know, we are born with certain kind of strengths and weaknesses, and that was mine. Uh, and uh, so, but I mean, that was okay. You just have to know it early enough and then do something about it and train it harder. See, his front is absolutely flawless. The abdomen also great. The definition of his pectoral muscles is great. Very defined thighs, great arms. Look at this, the waist is small. He keeps his waist in, keeps it always flexed. So the front is flawless. But like I said, the back could cost him a few points because the back is not as defined as the front. Terrific, most muscular pose. Time to work on the crowd. After health and body. Very well done. Really great with being powerful. Here you can see his small waist. It's very clear here that he has a tremendously small waist and very muscular. He knows how to control his abdominals. And here again in this pose you see very clearly that he does have a weak point. His back is not as defined as his front that we have just seen and basically caused him points. Vince Taylor, 5'9", 235 pounds, comes out with a bouncy step. Well, Vince Taylor, of course, uh, is always a, a tough guy to beat. Uh, as you know, Vince Taylor has won the Arnold's Classic before. He always comes in in great, great shape. It just shows you how tough the competition is getting and I said now ex-champions are coming back and competing against each other so this is really the ideal situation. Four former champions of the Arnold Classic. Vince Taylor is the first. We'll be seeing Mike Francois, Flex Wheeler and Kevin Lavroni. Here you can see his back, tremendous back development and the very high bicep we will see right now. Here you can see it. Tremendous bicep development and tricep development, good proportions in the arms, very small waist. It always has a very positive expression facially, so that which has an impact on the judges. He moves very 
slowly and very gracefully. Vince Taylor competing out of Florida. Now, many of the competitors are from California, the Venice area. Oh, a little, that was my line. Wait a minute now. <laughs> I have the copyright on the line. Yeah, he's looking for royalties. Exactly. He starts out very slow, and then he starts getting a different beat going, and his whole routine is, uh, uh, changes. Interesting that he would have this more upbeat portion at the end that would right. show he's got energy. Right, right. The uh, includes a little dance, all this with his routine, which goes over very well with the audience. The Macarena, yeah, exactly. Let him be do it. Let's get up. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with that right now is it's a great routine, but if you judge the muscles, he does not have a chance now with this routine to hit the muscles really hard, and therefore you don't give it really a fair shake. You don't give it a fair shot to your body. Vince Taylor, former champion of the Arnold Classic, appeals to the crowd for cheers, and look how they respond. This is the man they're going to be cheering for here in Columbus, Ohio. He is from Columbus, the most favorite, a former champion in this event, Mike Francois. Michael Francois, as you know, has won uh, the Islands Classic also. He's the local boy from here, you know, and uh, he's always come from tremendous shape. He's gigantic. He has enormous tension in his muscles. Five, eight and a half, 258 pounds, 31 years old. Interesting story. Three years of postgraduate studies in theology was studying for the priesthood. Yeah, he was about to become a priest. I mean, it, it's amazing. Obviously, he believes in developing the body and the soul. In the afternoon, he had a problem with his waist. He should do a vacuum right there. He should put in his waist much more than he did. He kept it flat. Now he shows his back again. Show to the judges the, the B-shaped body. Look at this. Now he pulled it in a little bit away. Now it's out again. Look at this. This is what the judges are left with. Is that you? Michael Francois. Good routine, looked powerful, but I think that there will be a problem with the waist. Our next contestant is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Al Q. Gurley. Al Q. Gurley of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I hope one of those competitors will do something different when they come out and charge out of here like a bull. Wouldn't it be nice if I, if I see that they're all walking out slow, then I will come up with a routine where they, you come out like an explosion. Al Q. Gurley studied architecture at Howard University and uh, decided to build pyramids for biceps and fortresses for thighs. Very balanced body, good proportions, nice calves, thighs, good uh, upper development of chest and back. Look at the delta, it's here. He's showing to the judges his tremendous back development in this three-quarter back pose. Nice three-quarter back pose again. Good smooth moves. Good shows the bicepus development and bicep development. jokes that he uses the uh, seafood diet, you know, the old line, I see it, I eat it. He's 241 pounds, 5 foot 10. 
As an athlete like this trains for competition, what would it, might his caloric intake be? Um, could easily be four or five thousand uh, calories. You know, uh, it really depends. Uh, sometimes, you know, if you feel like your body fat is too high and you're not satisfied, then you cut it down, uh, maybe sometimes to a thousand calories, and train two, three times a week in order to burn off more calories than you take in. Al Q. Gurley. Well, let's check in now with Jack Corrigan. Backstage with Flex Wheeler, one of the leading contenders for uh, the Arnold Classic Championship tonight. And Flex, uh, a great pre-judging here in the final moments. Uh, what are your thoughts heading into this last round? Um, right now, I'm just trying to keep my mind out of everything else. Uh, the next phase is our posing round, and that's what I want to concentrate on. I want to get ahead about what's going to happen after that and just that and other. Um, I just want to go out and, and hopefully I can deliver what's inside of me to the audience. And once I do that, then I'll say, OK. Our next contestant comes from Santa Monica, California. Please welcome Flex Wheeler. Another champion in the Arnold Classic, Flex Wheeler out of California. The real name, of course, Kenneth Martin, but you'll understand why they call him Flex here in just a moment. <laughs> Tremendous proportions. As a matter of fact, I think in this competition he came uh, in lighter than ever before. He's not as big as he was, but he's uh, uh, as defined, if not more defined than ever. He has beautiful proportions, he has a small waist. So he's a very, very tough guy to beat. He also won the Arnold's Classic, as you mentioned earlier. Uh, it's great back development. Uh, I have so far not seen the flaw. You see, he keeps his waist in, even though it's not a shot, an abdominal shot. Well, the it's the most muscular pose. The music is appropriate then because this is mint condition, and he That's is right. in mint condition. He is in mint condition. Look at this. He smiles. Look, you see how he keeps the waist? That is extremely important to always show the waist at the smallest. What he has decided early on, I guess, uh, this year is that he is going to win with proportions and symmetry rather than just with size. And so he went for that. And it's a very smart move. I think it's going to really play well the day with the judges. He has been as big as 273 pounds, but Flex Wheeler here competing at 230 pounds on his 5 foot 11 inch frame. And it looks much better. The 235 looks much better. Look at it. Everything is well rounded. So far, I have not seen a weak point. Let's see the back. Tremendous back development. The latissimus comes all the way down to the waist. Now he shows the thickness with his double bicep pose. He's moving up slowly with the double bicep. Look at his back. He really traumatizes it because he knows it, so he's very well developed in the back. Look at the split. So flexibility to go along with his muscularity. Exactly. I think that he's the only bodybuilder that I know that can go down in the split position. And again, this is something that counts with the judges because flexibility amongst bodybuilders is always very important uh, because of the size and so, so you always practice flexibility. And to see that, I think it really will give him some extra points. Here you can see the gigantic musculature on the back, the definition, the symmetry. Now he goes confident. <laughs> you see, that's important. Look at the thighs. It's the cross-rations and everything. He really plays the crowd. Look at this. And the crowd has got to be with him. Flex Wheeler looking his very best again. Fast champion here in 93, the Arnold Classic. Wheeler. Fantastic. I think he did a great job in building our I, uh, I think that... <laughs> He's going to do extremely well tonight. Here's his bicep and tricep development, which is fantastic. And look at the separation between arms and shoulders. He has very tiny waist, very, very tiny waist. Controls it all the time, flexes his abdominals, keeps the vacuum in, keeps it flat. It's wonderful. 
Here is the split I was talking to you about earlier, oh, all the way down here. This is going to gain some points for him uh, because very few people can do that. Our next competitor is from Glen Burnie, Maryland. Please welcome Kevin This is the Lavoie. final competitor, a two-time Arnold Classic winner, Kevin Lavoni from Baltimore. But you be strong. And do not Kevin Lavoni has won the competition twice. Uh, he's a very, very tough competitor. And he's very determined to win this year again. And uh, so we'll see what happens. Let's see the person we can in the afternoon. He did very well. As you know, the pre-charging in the afternoon always is very important because there are two rounds that they're, they're judged by. Um, and, uh, you know, this is now the final round in the evening, so uh, that's uh, as important as anything. Now he finally fixes the waist. You see, he has the abdominals, but he does not use them enough. He again, he uses it and then he lets it out again. Trains two hours a day, six days a week, and has still found time to be involved with the Grant Wish Foundation for children and families in need, so a humanitarian as well as a bodybuilder. Yeah, he's terrific in that way, really great. Great representative of the sport. Kevin LeBron. Good posing, very good posing. He really stays with the back poses, shows his strength. Got a great three-quarter back pose. Nice tricep pose, but forgot to put the waist in again. Very good chest pose. Kevin, you have the victory. These are God's powerful words. Claim them. Just getting ready for a back pose. Plays the music really well. And finish. Kevin Lavoni. Very nice routine. Two-time champion, will he be champion a third time here and take the $100,000 first place prize in the 97 Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. Now, let's go down to Jack Corrigan. The Arnold Classic always brings lots of celebrities. Don Wilson, one of the great martial artists of the world, uh, enjoying the festivities. What's, what's impressed you most this weekend? Um, you know what, I, I, I've never been to one of these events, and I, I've seen it in, in the pictures and everything, but I mean, just the, the power of these guys, I mean, it's just, uh, uh, their athletic, their fitness impresses me. Well, we hope you enjoy everything tonight, and thanks for visiting with us. Thank you. All right, Don Wilson, the Dragon. Well, it is time to bring these six finalists and the Arnold Classic out. This is... Nasser El Sambadi. Competitor number eight, Vince Taylor. Vince Taylor, former champion here. Competitor number nine, Mike Francois. Another former champion here, Mike Francois. One more to go. And competitor number 12, Flex Wheeler. Flex Wheeler, it's Flex Wheeler. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, Kevin Lavroni, a two-time champion, not making the final six. Yes, uh, as I said, I saw some problems there, and he was not as defined as he was before. From left to right in this final pose down, Paul Gillette, Ronnie Coleman, Nasser El Sanbadi, Vince Taylor, Mike Francois, and Flex Wheeler. Now, Michael Francois, Flex Wheeler, and Vince Taylor, all former champions here. This is a very important round for the judges because it really gives them one more chance to watch them side by side with exactly the same pose. So if they're a little bit confused about the afternoon performance, about the individual posing routine, here they can still check it out one more time and say to themselves, let's check it one more time. Am I right with my decision here? What was your strategy in the post down? Well, in, in the post down, in, in this particular one, it was always, I just thought of one thing, and this is put everything that you got together now, because this is an important thing where the judges look one more time at your body and comparing it with everyone else. So pull your act together, pull your waist in, flex everything that you've got to flex, and use it now.
because this is the last chance that you have this and then the individual pose off. So mentioning Flex Wheeler's name means that this is the guy that they are thinking of picking as the top guy. He's not even going to make sure is he really the top guy or not. So he must be ahead of the points, otherwise I cannot imagine why they do that. Well, you certainly get a stark comparison here. Nasser El Sambadi is, is thick, thick, thick. And the other one is more defined and more uh, well proportioned, Flex Wheeler. Here they're comparing the back poses. The judges want to see those two athletes next to each other. You just see, look at it, the back. You can see Flex Wheeler's back was more defined, and therefore, again, this again will confirm that he's better than everyone else. This is an abdominal comparison. He has the best waistline, I think, of everyone. Look at this. How small. Huge thighs. And he keeps that smile. And if the music man's ready, pose down. Okay, now it's going to be the pose down. So that, that, that means, uh, the, you know, the pose off now is very important. Because this is where the judges see you the last time and they make the decision. Well, we got a little mind game going on here with Black and NASA. He says to himself, I'm not going to be hectic. I'm not going to, you know, match your shot for shot. Follow me. So he caught his disease. Now doing his own pose, let him follow him. He gets his strength showing. Now they move around. See, obviously, uh, uh, NASA was not happy standing next to Flex Wheeler, so he walked away from him and walked right over to the other side where he maybe has a better chance. Now he walks back. He knows he's got to be center stage. Exactly. Flex Wheeler, third move. He does his sweat, his sweat off. Not a good move. Okay, but he keeps smiling, so that's very good. Very good. Very well proportioned. So I would not walk around that much at this point. I would just keep one shot after the other and keep hammering away like a machine gun. Bang, 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 bang. Pose after pose. This is where you have to show energy. This is where you have to show to the judges that you've got it in you. That if they call for another two hours of pose down, you have it. They don't. I'm the champion, they are not. That's what you want to sell here. And um, so I think that the more energy you bring in here, the better it is in this pose off. Now it is head to head competition between these two. Who will win the 97 Arnold Classic? We'll have the answer when we return to Columbus, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to bring back out on stage the man who has created a juggernaut, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thank you. Isn't it unbelievable the shape those guys are in? I would hate to be a judge today. I mean, good luck, judges. That's all I can say. Fantastic, the definition and all that stuff. I want to quickly bring out uh, a very dear friend of mine, my best friend forever. Uh, I hate him because he's a little bit too tall next to me. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Franco Colombo. Let's see, Franco. Where's Franco? Coming out here, Franco. You know? Here's Franco. Franco, why don't you stand up? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Everybody knows a little, little bit taller. Really? Oh, yeah. But no one knows that I'm stronger than you. Oh, everybody knows that. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, Franco. What you say? You did it again. The show is bigger and better than ever. You did it again. Congratulations. Thank you very much. But say the same thing to Jim Lorma. He's and right Jim out Lorma, here. Congratulations. And the vibrations here, I feel like the stage is coming off the ground. Anything what you meant else? was uh, there's a lot of energy in here. <laughs> That's okay. what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, I have to say one thing. I know Arnold here. is hiding one thing here. And that is, and he told me backstage this every year, He's as nervous tonight as he used to be when he competed in the Mr. Olympia here. The vibrations backstage, and the same, I'm the same way. I'm so nervous. You I... don't always have to compare yourself with me. What's the matter with you, Franco? Huh? I'm not comparing myself yeah, with you. Stop what it. Of course I'm nervous. I want to make I'm... the best show. I want to show the best bodybuilders. And the, I mean, yeah, but don't cover up that you know. You're sweating, so you pumped up backstage but before you came out of here. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong here, Franco. I cannot believe it that you're pumping up backstage. Have you waited the judges? 
They're ready. Okay, so why don't we go off the stage? Or oh, should we hand out the trophy? What do we oh, want? I think it would be great if they handed out the most muscular trophy, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Now let's bring out the winner of the most muscular. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, of the most muscular trophy, Flex Wheeler. Arnold Schwarzenegger presenting the most muscular trophy for Flex Wheeler. And up on the stage with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the master of ceremonies, Clint Richards, is his old rival, Franco Colombo, who has gone out here. Flex Wheeler, most muscular in the 97 Arnold Classic. When we return to Veterans Memorial in Columbus, Ohio, the judges will present the championship trophy in the Arnold Classic. We're back here in Columbus at the Arnold Classic, and the judges have made their decision. Once again, Paul DeLette, Ron Coleman, Marcel Sonbody, Vince Taylor, Mike. Welcome back inside Veterans Memorial for the concluding portion of the 1997 Arnold Classic. The six finalists are on the stage. Sixth place, Paul Dillette. Five thousand dollars. Fifth place. $10,000. So Vince Taylor finishing in fifth place and showing a much more positive attitude and personality than Gillette. Ron Coleman, Ron Coleman finishing in fourth place. And gives us another look of what earned him $15,000 in prize money. Top three positions here, $25,000 for third, $45,000 for second, a $100,000 first place prize. So, only three remain. Mike Francois, third place. Michael Francois, third place. $25,000 for Michael Francois, the Columbus, Ohio native. Final two, Flex Wheeler on the right. Nasser El Sambati on the left. Nasser El Sambati, second, second place, $45,000. The champion is Flex Wheeler. He has won it again. And total exultation and almost disbelief. So Nasser El Sambati, $45,000. And Flex Wheeler is overcome with joy. Obviously, our champion is Flex Wheeler. Flex Wheeler and Arnold Schwarzenegger hands him the trophy. Flex Wheeler winning it again. And oh, so impressive here in the 97 Arnold Classic. Yeah, Flex, just a quick question. You've won now for the second time the Arnold Classic. You've had in between a bad car accident, came back with the, the hard training and all this. Tell just quickly to the audience how you feel and how much training went into all this. Um, I'm a lot for words right now. I just want to say thank you. Um, this is definitely the hardest um, I ever trained for a show. It meant a lot to me um, to come here and do well. And um, I'm glad to see that our work pays off. And through God, I can do anything. Thank you. Thank you very much, Flex. I hope you're back. Thank you. More with Arnold and our champion when we come back. This broadcast has been made possible by Metrix, engineered nutrition for the best shape of your life. And by Weaver, nutrition at the speed of science. Welcome back. Let's go to Arnold Schwarzenegger and our champion, Flex Wheeler. Arnold, 
Thank you, Greg. And here, of course, we have our champion, Flex Wheeler, who won the most muscular competition and the Arnold's Classic of 1997. How does it feel now coming back for the second time and winning it after, you know, 1993, you won it the last, the, the first time, and now back again? Um, I can't even describe it with words. It's just it's an honor to be here and then to win in 1997 after everything that happened as far as my car accident and everything. It's just, you know, just... Um, I'm elated. I'm overwhelmed right now. What did you do mentally? How did you psych yourself up for that mentally to keep uh, determined and to, to have this goal in mind always and do not, uh, you know, get uh, distracted with the accidents and all those kind of things? Um, I really had a, um, that was basically what it was, a, a mental battle. And um, I'm really a, a predator when it comes to competition. I can't stand to lose. And um, I knew that um, I had to prove to myself first still that I can deal it because if I didn't believe in myself, it's no way that I was going to prove it to anyone else. So I really had to dig deep and do some soul searching. And when I came up with the energy, it was just blast off from there. And I was just full steam ahead from there. Congratulations, Flex. Flex, you're absolutely fantastic. It's very unique, as you know, to win the most muscular yeah, trophy definitely. and the overall championship, the Arnold's Classic. So congratulations. You, and I sure hope that you're back. Thank you, Arnold. Okay, Greg. Thank you, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Congratulations, Flex Wheeler. The top six, once again, Paul Gallat in sixth. In fifth, Vince Taylor. In fourth, Ron Coleman. In third, Michael Francois. In second, winning $45,000, Nasser El Sambadi. And, of course, the champion, $100,000 to Flex Wheeler. And uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you're back with us again. Spectacular performance by Flex Wheeler. I think he was speechless. I think it was a big surprise for him to come back after the car accident and uh, to win this competition again. But he was in best shape. And as uh, I, I told you earlier, he has a good chance to pull it off. And uh, you could see that he won the most muscular trophy and also the overall championships, the world championships of the Arnold's Classic. So he's really a, a, a top guy. Combining two uh, very special aspects of the sport, having the, the body symmetry as well as the muscularity. That's exactly what he has proven today, and I think this is really terrific. And uh, one should give credit also, of course, to Nasser El Sambadi, who was a fierce competitor, who was really in, in his best shape ever. And I think that uh, we will hear a lot from him in the future. Another great year coming up in 98, bigger and better still? Bigger and better. The guys are going to get better, more muscular, and uh, tougher to, uh, to win this trophy. And uh, I think that more spectators will be around. So I think the sport is growing uh, worldwide and it's great to be part of the sport and to promote it. You have served your sport very well. That's the Thank story you. from here. Flex Wheeler, number one for Arnold Schwarzenegger and our correspondents on the floor, Debray Berensfeld, Jack Corrigan. I'm Greg Lewis. Goodbye from Columbus, Ohio.